Yeah, loose lips sink ships. You know how it goes. I'm glad you're here though. I'm your host of the most, Big Daddy Bam Bam, aka Chicken Wing. So today I'm gonna tell you some secrets. Yeah, loose lips sink ships. Y'all seen my last video, so I guess you liked it, or if you didn't see it, you're back. Anyway, anyway, yeah. I'm gonna smoke this cigarette. I normally don't do this. I've had this pack now. Hit out. The only time I like to not smoke cigarettes when I'm drinking. I've had a rough couple days and I'm back. So I got me a little bottle. I'm gonna take me a couple of shots of my coffee. I'm gonna smoke me a cigarette. I'm gonna tell you the secrets to security. Or it's a building person a bounty hunter whatever y'all might want to stick around got some knowledge for you yeah so today I just love the sunrise. This thing's automatically set up to go into there because I programmed. Well, I didn't program it. OBS programmed because I use OBS Studio, but they programmed it to go to a screen. It's called Advanced Scenes, which are. Yeah, so, anyway, let's go back over here. Chum. Yeah, I'll smoke this cigarette. So, a lot of y'all know me. Who's don't? Hi, I'm Chicken Wing, aka Big Daddy Bam Bam, aka Spanky, aka. Well, I ain't gonna tell you the other aka. Because if you stay tuned to the end of the video, I'll ask a question. Whoever gets it, where well, I'm building a YouTube channel, I've got somebody that offered to actually, yeah, actually give a prize away. It's nothing too big, but it's something everybody like. It's technical. And it'll be good. Maybe you'll like it. Maybe your kids like it. But either way, subscribe and like, leave a comment in order for a chance to win it. And I still don't understand why y'all like watching me, but whatever. So, anyway, let's get to the secrets of security the unknown, the most deepest, darkest secret. How you get caught, how you get killed, how you do whatever. No matter if you're in a security firm, one of the alphabet soups, which is, you know, I'm not gonna say their name because I'll probably get hit on that. And I burnt my finger. <laughs> yeah. Doing my other camp videos. But anyway, we are on the ATF. Oh, I said one. I might as well say my DEA, whatever. The secret to how everybody gets caught. You know, when you're in the military or you're in a security force or you're in anything else, perfect practice makes perfect. It becomes muscle memory. Muscle memory is a habit. A lot of the guys I know that's been in the military, they still have this muscle memory. I wake up sometimes and I'm still holding my M16. You know, uh, if I roll a certain way, it feels like I've got my M4 in my hand. It's just one of those things, you know. There's a lot of dark stuff that I've done in my life. Military-wise, security-wise. Things that I won't even tell my own family. Things I won't tell my own kids. Things that people never know. And I'm sure once I'm gone and everybody gets together and they start talking and piecing stuff together, they'll figure it out. The one thing that always is constant is your habits. You know, you can always count on your habits. In the military, we knew certain times of the day, the Muslims are going to be doing this. The Christians are going to be doing that. Habits. Uh, your habits are repetitive. I didn't think that it was that repetitive because of human nature and people will break their habits 
but you still have vices and you still have things that you want. Uh, when I was in the military, coffee. You had to have coffee. Anybody that started with me, Prago, Paris, uh, hell, even Little Brown, they'll tell you. It was, I'm saying, I could sit in the woods after us being in the woods, and that, when we got back to base camp, I could tell them what kind of coffee they made, how warm it was, what they was wearing, whether it was a guy, a girl, depending on their cologne, and how far out they was before they got to us. I have it. Instinct. Uh, you have certain things you recognize. So, I'm going to tell you a quick story. I know I ramble on, and y'all just forgive me. I'm trying to smoke my cigarette He's pouring out. I ain't used to smoke cigarette. I need to smoke my pipe. So. There was a guy that nobody could catch. He was a pedophile. He had over 138 cases that they knew of. Uh, I'm not going to tell you his name, I'm not going to tell you his state, I'm not going to tell you his name, I'm going to tell you he ended up in my hometown. <laughs> so, I've always been a hacker. I've always been a freak. You know, I started off as a freak and turned into a hacker. Well, I play on both sides of the fence. I've done security for everybody from high altitude people to the BFW to personal security to the military and everything else. I do computer security. When you get a security license, you have to go through certain programs. You have to know what cyber terrorism is. You have to know what this is. You have to know what that is. You have to know what your threats are. Just like anything else on. You have to know what your threats are. So, I went through this and I had a friend of mine and I've dabbled in bounty hunting. I've dabbled in this, I've dabbled in that. And they said, well, you know, you got a different way of looking at things. And I do. So at this time, I was hungry. My kids was hungry. Yeah, I raised my kids, and I didn't always do right by them and this and that, but I always kept a roof over the head, and I had to have money. So the dude said, if you can find this guy, you'll get a percentage. It's a good chunk of money. A good chunk of money. So, you know, we're doing what we do. And I would go to files and I don't see nothing that's repetitive. And that's what I normally look for. There's something repetitive you're doing every day. Whether it's you getting up, going outside, getting your newspaper, and you put on your slippers when you get out of bed. If, I've seen a lot of guys and I've been to jail. I've also dealt with the police department on both sides. You know, you don't want to touch the floor. See, you put on a certain pair of shoes. There's all kind of videos. If you watch the Jaws videos, people get caught because they got blood on their shoes. You might get up, you've never been to jail. You get up, you put your shoes on every day. Everybody goes, I changed my habits. There's always that one little vice you have to have. That one little vice. So I look over and can't find this. So I go down. I live on the streets. I'm doing everything. I need this money. This is. This is going to suffice me and my kids for a couple of months and, you know, I live on the streets, I go to homeless shelters, I do everything. Well, I've got the thing where I love coffee. That's my vibes. I love coffee. If I'm in a bar drinking, I have to make a pot of coffee to chase my liquor with. I love coffee. So, I, you know, I'm blessed to have a home and stuff, you know, I'm... You know, I'm only doing this about two days a week. Going to the homeless shelters, acting like I'm a homeless guy, you know. So, I'm blessed to have a home I can go to. And every morning I get home, first thing I want to do is take a shower, eat a honey bun. Yes, that's one of my vices, a honey bun. I know, that used to be jailhouse money. So, have a cup of coffee. That's my thing. So I start thinking, and we can't figure out where this guy's at anywhere. Couldn't find out he's under my nose. I know he's around the area, so I, you know, I'm going to Kingsport, I'm going to Johnson City, I live in Tri Cities, I'm going to Bristol, I'm doing this and that. Well, I start thinking about it. You know, when my ex wife first kind of left us, her thing was she was still here in Bristol, she would go in a certain little gas station every morning that the homeless people would go to. 
And the catch was, if you stayed at the Salvation Army, you stayed at this home shelter, that home shelter. When the morning came, you had to go somewhere. So everybody go to the library or go here, go there. Well, a lot of the guys, you know, would go down and they'd wait for people to come in and buy a newspaper or whatever. Or maybe leave this section, that section. I mean, everybody has a vice. I've still got friends that they like to read the actual newspaper. That's the reason the physical newspaper. I got friends that like to read actual books, not ebooks. You know, everybody has their vice. So I kept couldn't figure out how this guy was getting money, how this guy was here, where he's at. So I finally felt the pattern. He was withdrawing money, the same amount of money, out of ATM, off a bogus account. You know, back then we didn't have, you know, like PayPal and Amazon, everything else where you could, somebody sends you something and you sell it to the same person at the same time. And a lot of thieves will do that. They'll go in and steal the same stakes and sell the stakes for the same amount of money. And their dope dealers know, well, this is how much money I got coming in. So they can go out and buy a new car and go, this is how much money I got coming in. And they know if this one gets caught, well, I got this one to bring this much money in, this is how much we spend. The smart dope dealers. So everybody's got this, they got a habit in their life. That's the biggest secret to security. Everybody's got a habit. Just like I said, Muslims, you know where they're gonna be at certain times of the day. You know where the Jews are gonna be certain times of the day. You know what they're gonna eat. You know where they're gonna shop at. You know what they're gonna buy. Well, I'm guessing this guy, cause he come from a lot of money and his wife's word that she had nothing to do with him. But yeah, she set this fake account up and he had this fake card. And we couldn't figure out this and that. And nobody could figure out, you know, where's this guy at? How's he doing? So, I guess it was a little bit of luck. And, you know, it's better to be lucky sometimes than good. A little bit of luck. I happened to be on one of my little voyages. And I ran to my godfather. He was going to the bank. And, of course, I had to go, hey, play it off and act like a buddy. Well, I'm telling you, he goes to the bank. He goes to the bank every morning the same bank every morning well he has to or not i started thinking she goes down every morning and my ex-wife she's good and i take money to this little gas station she go down she gets the same thing every morning i said wait a minute this is the guy's age this is what he spends and my wife had told me you know you're hoover you suck and i can't figure out you know, and she was very intelligent before she lost her mind. I was like, hmm. And I started putting two, two together. So I started thinking, how much is a cup of coffee? So I went in and asked the lady, I said, look, who comes here every morning and buys USA Today? Now, how many people, homeless people, buy the USA Today? Not many. How many homeless people come in and want exactly one pack of sugar? and a caramel so he would buy the dollar caramels and when it all come down to it i started saying okay so i said okay this guy has to be pulling this amount of money out so i kind of run a little program i said this amount and that amount and found out phew next thing we know we tied that account that account pow we got the guy and he's doing 137 plus 15 years so his habits is what got him. You might think you're changing your habits, but everybody got habits. That's the reason they teach you never go the same way twice. Never do the same thing twice. It's human nature. Go on, look up bounties and stuff. See how many people got busted because of Facebook or Tinder or, you know, well, I've got this to sell or I got that to sell or, you know, whether you're in this or that. You spend all your money on a brand new Porsche. You just robbed a bank and never had money in your life. People who have money know it's harder to save the money than to make the money. They know. You know, that's how you get busted. If you go in the back door and you hide, even though Sama Laden got busted. So now you know one of the biggest secrets. Your vices and your habits will get you caught. You don't want to get caught. Don't do stupid. Until next time. Get out there. See this big old world. Live a little. Laugh a little. Love a little. Like. 
subscribe and you can get a little free job. And don't forget, hit that bell so you can tell when we are here.